you go with your best and you just hope and pray. Here we go. Third overtime. A full one-hour sports center follows this national championship game with all the wrap-up from Indianapolis today and the exciting basketball action. National championship of college hockey on the line. Live from St. Paul. And here we go. Third overtime. Antos in the northern Michigan zone. Gets it to center ice to Buffet. Picked up there by Warenka. Warenka wants to hit a cutting Buffet. He's there, but Warenka took the shot instead, and it was knocked wide. Out in front, the backhand. Buffet can't control the pass. The referee's got to get out of the way. Buffet back to McDonald. He can't save it. Garrett McDonald. Under a minute to go in the dual minors to, Anto, to Ward and to Lamonte. Here comes Boston U for their first sortie up the ice. This is. Sacco, the man who sent this game into overtime. Seems like last year. Behind the Northern Michigan net. Sacco control, rather, uh, Sabo controls. Been a little squirrely here, friend. Mark Chris picks it up. Back to LeChance. 8.56 to go, third overtime. LeChance over the blue line. LeChance puts the defense. The shot oh. high over the net. Oh, what a rush by the freshman LeChance. For Boston University, Scott LeChance. 13 seconds left in the dual minors. We'll be back to five on five. Right in front of his own net, my goodness. Mark Chris taking an awful chance for BU. Look at all Bobby Orr move. Broke it off. Roll. Circle the wagons a couple of times. Throw everybody off speed. speed. Uh, Almost threw his own goalie off speed. Uh, Mark Chris is not Bobby Orr. <laughs> not yet. LeChance is now both teams here. Five skaters aside. Tomlinson behind the Northern Michigan net. Sukarov gets it for Northern Michigan. This is Blandowski. Blandowski into center ice. He gives it to Antos. Antos stays on side. Blandowski leaves it in the slot area for Bofe. Penalty scores! It's a time-honored phrase, and on BU's face, the agony of defeat. And that was well set up, too. Buffet just taking it outside, taking it outside. He has two people going after him, and a smart play to drop it back. Landowski, the man who was the shadow, his assignment coming into tonight's game was to watch Tony Amati. He ends up with three goals in this game and is a horrendous hero on this overtime national championship clinching goal. The goal, 157 of the third overtime. Daryl Flandowski, the senior out of Lloydminster, Alberta. And the look of dejection. And there's the look of celebration. Congratulations to Rick Conley in Northern Michigan. And a hearty congratulations to the Terriers of Boston University. Flandowski. Now let's All right, we got them right here. Rick Conley. Rick, how do you feel? <laughs> well, it's unbelievable, Jim. You know, we... Fell behind, we fought back, we gave it up, and then to, to fight back and win it. I coached 18 years, it's the first one for me, and I, I feel great. What happened to this hockey game? So many different changes tonight. I just think two very good teams that kind of went back and forth. Neither team was ever out of the game. Did you tell your team anything going into this locker room, into the third overtime? Well, we just, you know, we believed we were in good shape and that we were coming at them in the overtime and that we thought we could do it. All right, Rick, thank you very much. We'll let you get back to the celebration. All right, congratulations to the Wildcats of Northern Michigan. Wally, it was a great experience. Thanks for your job here tonight. Thanks for everybody. Northern Michigan wins at 8-7 in triple overtime. Now let's go to Sports Center in Indianapolis. The NCAA Division I Hockey Championships have been brought to you by Truck Guard from Shell. Think any oil will take care of your truck? Think again. And by Suzuki. Run with the pros.
duking it out at the final four. Up next on SportsCenter, the Rebels with a cause run up against a team with a devil-may-care attitude. He is the dean of coaches, but today his student gave him a case of the shakes. We'll tell you why the lights went out on the Rockets trip to the Magic Kingdom. We'll have the latest on this Mavericks' latest mishap. You can call him a real stand-up guy.